Hey friends, this is the video where we're going to show you how to put the planes that you've made to the test. We can't wait to see what you come up with to fly in and out of the Sticksville airport. But we can only give you so much instruction in this video. Once you have it relatively balanced on your finger, it's up to you to figure out what angle you'd like to throw it at, how hard do you want to throw it, and how high off the ground works best for you. Each plane ends up coming out a little bit differently, and when I say things like play around with the angle to throw it at, I mean that some planes work best by throwing it down at the ground and then coming up and leveling out, while others work best to throw up and then come down and level out. I will say though that if the planes are going straight up and not going very far, you need to add a little bit of weight to the front, and if they're doing a straight nosedive into the ground, you need to add a little bit of the weight to the back, or take off some weight from the front. So I think it's time to go outside, but before we do, we want to show you how to throw these. The best form is to grab it right under the middle of the wings, or maybe a little bit in front, and all you do is you pull it back and push it forward. There's no need to get crazy, wind it up super far, and try to throw it as hard as you can. All you do is pull it back behind your head and extend your arm forward. As you can see, we angled the plane left, and check it out, during its flight, it straightened out. Would you like to try out a little slingshot mechanism? Check out how we took a paper clip and some rubber bands to give the plane a little extra propulsion. Take a paper clip and bend it so it can be grabbed by one of the rubber bands in the chain, and then tuck it under the rubber bands on the front of your glider plane. This is by no means mandatory, but if you have the time and want to experiment with a different way to fly your plane, then we encourage you to check it out and see if it helps. Make a quick chain of two or three rubber bands and tie the front one as tight as you can onto a pencil or a pen. Well friends, thanks for your time. We hope you're excited to get to building and testing them out. And remember, don't get discouraged if things don't go well right away. Make the adjustments. That's what being an engineer is all about. 